family and friends. It's a bit rainy today. It rained some overnight. It's been coming, raining off and on this morning since I got up. It's, uh, I, I forgot what the time was, like quarter after eight, something like that. 8.30. I camped Stell site off, off trail enough that I got a little disoriented this morning and started to go the wrong way. <laughs> oh. Anyway, plan is to make as many miles as I can today. Um, hope the rain doesn't slow me down too much. I checked the radar off to my southeast. This is a pretty strong set of rain. It looks like it might be a thunderstorm. Um, my plan for the next couple days today get as far as I can tomorrow thinking about getting uh, sorry getting off trail spending the night in the hotel uh, around Licksdale that's, that's what I'm thinking I'm not, not guaranteed but I'm trying to plan out. Eventually, I need to take a zero. I've taken some lower mileage days, so that's helped. At some point, I need to take a zero, I think. Oh, okay, you can hear me breathing. I'm going up a little bit of a hill. I'll see you later. Those of you are squished, I'm sorry about that. I had to show you the black snake. I almost walked, I have walked right by. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, we're only going until now. This must be a popular fishing area, so a whole bunch of trucks in the parking area. Lots of people put the poles out in the water. Okay. I probably can't read that. It's raining too hard. This marks the end of the horseshoe trail. I can't see the horseshoe. I don't know if you can hear me. But uh, yeah, it's raining pretty steady. I just ran into uh, Tigger and Babbitt. They were at the uh, hospital in Duncannon. So. Comparing those a little bit. Yeah, they're they're using their cars and leapfrogging around. They're not they're not doing it all at once. Anyway, usually oh, it's still sprinkling a little bit, but it's been raining pretty good. Dropped one of the poles again. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, everything's wet. It looks a tad brighter. I don't haven't heard any thunder in a while. Well, that's good. And this is the direction I'm headed. Okay, that's enough. So the sun's come out. There's a little bit of blue sky here and there. So right now it's not too bad. Of course, things are still damp, so you still have to be careful walking. But uh, yep. Took the rain gear off. I'll stash it here in a moment. The bugs are bad. That's the direction I had. You can probably see the bugs on the screen. That's how bad they are. 
Okay. It's side trail, sand spring trail. I don't know anything about it, but and I especially don't know anything about the, the general. But here's the trail ahead. Around two and a half miles from the next shelter. I haven't decided whether I want to stop before or after the shelter. Um, why do I not want to stop at the shelter? Because there was a troop of boy, uh, boy scouts, quite a large troop, headed that way. When I stopped a little while ago for a spring to collect some water, they came up and waited for me to, to leave. <laughs> there were so many of them, they would have held me up and I asked them where they were going and that's where they were going. So I'm not going to go to the shelter. Okay, that's it for now. So I passed Roush Gap Shelter a while back. Since the Boy Scout Troop was going to stop there, I did not. So anyway, there's this sign here. I'm going to camp somewhere near here. Decide where. Okay, all well, my hammock's up and I've had dinner, brushed my teeth, taken care of all that stuff, got hung my food bag, uh, in case I didn't tell you, I went past, well, I don't know, maybe half a mile from the Rush Gap shelter. So let me give you a little recap. Um, started out this morning, there was a little bit of drizzle, so I had my rain gear on. After about an hour it stopped, took off the rain gear. Um, came down off of Peters Mountain, which was you know kind of rocky, came down into the road and started back up the parking area where there was some people who were fishing. And after short amount of up it was trail more smoother um, trying to think of what else is important to say oh it started raining <laughs> again uh, much harder this time so I had to scramble under a pine tree and put my rain gear on and it rained for at least an hour I wasn't keeping track at least an hour before it let up and finally stopped so I took the rain gear off again and That's the main thing. So here I am. Uh, I think I'm around a little over 150 miles total for the trip at this point. And it's, this was the 11th day. Well, anyway, I'm tired. <laughs> uh, I've got to make plans for what I'm doing the next few days. I need to get do a resupply. I gotta plan out where I'm gonna take in my zero because I haven't had a zero yet. I don't wanna wear myself down. Well, anyway, have a good night.